slightly different twist to it. And in this particular fairy tale, a uh, prince marries another prince. And I chose to read this fairy tale following some, um, some bullying that took place in my classroom. Uh, on this particular day, I dropped my students off at specials as I normally would. They were in PE. Uh, I went back to the classroom to do some work as I normally would. When I came to pick my students up, um, there were two students who were quite upset, and they shared with me that one of the students, who was a male, was being bullied um, because he's effeminate. He has some effeminate qualities. And uh, he didn't like the way that made him feel. They also used the word gay in a way that he didn't like the way that made him feel. Um, the girl was also upset, and she said that she told him that we don't do that in Mr. Curry's class. And, um, they decided to jump on her as well. And so for me, reading the book seemed like the natural thing to do, and I felt like that's what I was trained to do. So at my, I went, did my undergrad at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and we were always taught that we address issues proactively, and that addressing issues through literature is a great way to do it. So it seemed natural that I read the, read, would read a book. Um, I read King and King. My class had a great discussion about it, and for me, I thought that was the end of it, and we went about the rest of our day. Um, it wasn't until later that afternoon when I got a call from my school principal saying that a parent had objected to my reading of the book and she wanted to know more about why I read the book. And then the following day when I met with her, um, I guess the roller coaster really began. So that's when I first learned that the school district wasn't going to support my decision to, to read the book and um, here we are today. Uh, I'll say that over the last couple of weeks, I've gotten a lot of, of calls and, and uh, voicemails and emails from people and, and other teachers, and they all say, oh, well, this couldn't happen in my community. And I have to disagree with that on some level because, you know, when I got the call from the principal, I was at a family function with my partner, Paul, and he asked me, was I nervous? And I said, not at all. Um, it was not a doubt in my mind that Orange County was going to stand behind me, and, and that wasn't the case. And so uh, I think my story really speaks to the work that we still need to do in Orange County. I think sometimes we look 